little Miss Tiny was extremely small. Not very tall at all. She was so very tiny, she didn't live in a house. Do you know where she did live? In a mouse hole. In the dining room of Home Farm. She made the mouse hole quite comfortable, really. And luckily, there weren't any mice. Because Ginger, the big farm cat, had chased them all away. The trouble was, because she was so tiny, nobody knew she lived there. Nobody noticed her, not even the farmer and his wife. So there she lived, all alone. She was rather lonely and rather sad. Oh dear, I wish I had someone to talk to. One day, she was feeling so lonely, she decided to be very brave and go out for a walk. Out of a mouse hole she came. She crept across the dining room and then she pushed the door open and crept into the hall. Now, to little Miss Tiny, the hall looked as big as a field. Oh my goodness! And she scuttled across it to the back door of the farm. Luckily for her, there was a cat flap at the bottom of the door and she squeezed herself through it onto the doorstep. It was all very exciting. There before her was the vast expanse of the farmyard. So she set out to explore it. As little Miss Tiny walked across the yard, she came upon a hole. Suddenly, up popped a worm. Morning. Seen any birds about? Oh, my shivering shoes, it's a monster. Little Miss Tiny was terrified. She ran across the farmyard to hide. And she came to a door with a gap at the bottom and ducked in underneath. There inside was a pig. A large pig. And if you're as small as little Miss Tiny, a large pig looks very large indeed. Miss Tiny looked at the pig, and the pig looked at Miss Tiny. He grunted and moved closer to inspect this little person who'd entered his sty. Oh, oh, my trembling toes! Miss Tiny shot out of the pigsty as fast as her little legs would carry which wasn't very fast because her legs were so very little. She stopped to catch her breath. Oh, 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 my knocking knees! When she recovered her breath, she climbed up on a large stone to see if the pig had followed her. Fortunately, it hadn't. Well, thank goodness for that. But suddenly, the stone began to move. Oh, oh my teeth! What's happening now? Fierce, please! Move right along the bus, please! but it was only a harmless old snail. Little Miss Tiny jumped down and ran across the farmyard. She ran right down the back of the pigsty before she stopped. She leaned against the wall and put her hands over her eyes. And suddenly, she heard a noise. A very close noise. A sort of breathing noise. Very close indeed. She hardly dared take her hands away from her eyes, but when she did, she wished she hadn't. What do you think it was? There, right in front of her, looking at her with green eyes, Ginger, the farm cat. Oh, poor little Miss Tiny. Ginger grinned, showing his teeth. Little Miss Tiny shouted at the top of her voice. The trouble was, the top of Little Miss Tiny's voice was not very loud. Ginger grinned another grin. Every day, Mr Strong went to Home Farm to buy some eggs. He liked eggs, lots of them. And that particular day, he was walking home across the farmyard when he heard a very tiny squeak. Now, what was that? There it was again. It was coming from round the corner. He looked round the corner and he saw that Ginger had trapped poor little Miss Tiny. Help! Help! Oh, help! Please help! <laughs> Shoo, come on now, go away, cat. Mr. Strong picked up little Miss Tiny very gently. Hello. Who are you? I'm... Uh, I'm... Uh, I'm Miss Tiny. <laughs> yes, well, you are, aren't you? Well, if I was as tiny as you, I wouldn't go wandering around large farmyards. But I'm so lonely, I wanted to find someone to talk to. Oh dear, well now, 
Let's see if we can't find you some friends to talk to. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. And now, every day, Mr. Strong collects little Miss Tiny and takes her off to see her friends. Three days ago, he took her to see Mr. Funny, who told her so many jokes that she just couldn't stop laughing all day. <laughs> and, and then, a couple of days ago, he took her to see Mr. Greedy, who told her what he usually had for his favourite breakfast. Um, <coughs> toast, two slices, cornflakes, one whole packet, milk, one a bottle, sugar, one bowful, toast, <coughs> three slices, eggs, three, boiled, of course, soft, toast, four slices, butter, one dishful, marmalade, mm, one pot. Hmm, well, um, for you, uh, divide by a hundred. Yesterday, Mr. Strong took her to see Mr. Silly, and Mr. Silly showed her how to stand on her head. That's very silly. <laughs> oh, yes, well, thank you. <laughs> and guess who she met today? Somebody who's become a special little friend. Mr. Small. I never thought I'd ever meet anybody smaller than myself. Impossible team!